It has been a week now since the massive waterway spill in the Animas River. The EPA says preliminary tests show water is starting to return to normal, but the experience has a lot of folks upset. As you'll see in this report from News 13's Chris McKee, one man who's had his own dealings with the EPA before confronted the top administrator today. The man says he paid about $7,000 in fines to the EPA all over where dirt was placed on a lot during home construction related to a business he helps run. Now, during this confrontation, he said that the EPA needs to pay up as well. Take a look. I get your point. You're asking if we're holding ourselves to the same standard. How, how much, how much are, are you going to pay a fine? A standard, how much so of a fine are you going to pay up? When you knock a hole in the side of a mountain the size of a garage door and let three million gallons out and into a river, that's horrendous. I mean, that water goes all the way to Lake Powell. McCarthy responded by saying the EPA is taking responsibility for what happened last Wednesday. About three million gallons of wastewater from a Colorado mine with arsenic, lead, and other heavy metals washed into the Animas River and the San Juan. The Animas remains closed from Colorado down through New Mexico, but the EPA says that water quality is close to where it was before the spill. We spoke to Farmington's mayor today about his hopes for reopening the river. Well, the city's preliminary results found that lead was only slightly higher than safe levels are considered. They think that will drop further. My guess is that recreation use will be opened up fairly quickly. My guess is that municipal intakes will be authorized fairly quickly. But I'm guessing that irrigation use may be uh, off limits for a while longer. Mayor Roberts is hoping for a reopening of some level, possibly tomorrow or early next week, but he has no timeline. Now, the New Mexico Environment Department, along with the EPA, will make that joint decision about when this Animus River will reopen. But again, there is no official timeline out there yet. In Farmington, Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. The EPA announced it as $500,000 available for New Mexico farmers to use for crop irrigation and livestock. Meantime, the EPA has also set up an 800 number for anyone who has questions. We've posted it for you over on KRQE.com.